We are Nielsen Jengazan. After five years at this university, we're here to show you all the secret places you've never seen before. If you are like us, you're here almost every day. Even though we're familiar with most of the buildings on our campus, there's still some mysterious places which we know nothing about. Take for example, Athena, the Tiwi's very own nuclear reactor. When walking around the campus a couple of months ago, we stumbled upon this weird empty building just a couple of meters away from Helix. Looking abandoned, it seemed to not really fit in with the surrounding buildings. To learn more about this building, we talked to the history expert of the TUE, Joop Huiskamp. So can you tell us a little bit about the history of Athena? Okay. Um, first of all, I, I'm not a nuclear physicist, far from that, but I, I've been occupy, I've occupied myself a lot with the history of the university. Um, the name Athena has nothing to do with the Greek capital, but it stands for Atomreactor Technische Universiteit, Hogeschool at the time, Eindhoven, mm -hmm. Netherlands. So that's the Latin word is Athena. It was an old plan in, uh, dating from the 60s, very much supported by the rector uh, at that time, the second director. Professor Posthumus. He was also on the board of the uh, nuclear facilities in, in north of Holland. And he wanted very much to, to have a, a, a nuclear reactor, a small one, for research and educational purposes here in Eindhoven. But the strange side of this story is that it, it only functioned for something like a year. Um, because at that time the government decided, okay, uh, we have to close down some of the facilities in the Netherlands and the university can choose between Athena or uh, the cyclotron. Unfortunately, cyclotron won. What was surprising to us, however, is that Athena is still here after these 60 years. We got into touch with the TUE real estate department and we decided to take a look of what's left. The first thing we learn is that Athena was actually still used until a couple of years ago. GE Healthcare, also based on the campus, used the upper floors to produce radio pharmaceuticals and distribute them all over Europe. We discovered a building filled with items from the past decades. It felt like a ghost town where everyone decided to leave one day without a trace. To learn more about the inner workings of the reactor, we contacted Gilles Moordijk, an expert on radiation and radioactive materials. So the question we want to ask is, uh, what was this beautiful construction over here used for? Uh, this construction was used to gain entrance to proximity of the core of the nuclear reactor and to be able to have neutrons com coming through the graphite structure behind this door. And is it safe nowadays? Now it's uh, a safe uh, environment here, even in the core. It's only twice uh, background uh, in, in the Netherlands. So there's no direct harm for people to work here. So even though it looks menacing, it's not dangerous at all? It's not dangerous at all at the moment, no. Thank you. Gilles gave us another special tour of the Athena facility. He showed us the nuclear fuel elements that were used in the reactor's core. It was very cool to see that these were the original elements as we found in old footage of Athena from the 1960s. We saw the metal barrels that were used to move the nuclear material, as well as the concrete walls that were over a meter and a half thick that kept the radiation from going outside. When we asked about the future of Athena, we discovered that nobody really knew. For now, it seems that Athena will stick around for a while, reminding us that the past is still alive in the present. <laughs>